Oliveira. Oh! Oh! Knocked out from the cushion! Right into the oh, left bar. He's got to watch the arm triangle here. If Mahachev can pass the guard, he's got the arm triangle. Oh, it's a oh, finish oh. The way that Mahashev was able to hurt Oliveira so many times on the feet. We talked all about his wrestling, the sambo, the jiu-jitsu. But it was the strikes that led to all of this. He was able to knock Oliveira down. And then once he had him hurt and had him just questioning himself for a second, he locks up this arm triangle. And like DC talked about, as soon as he even clears the leg, look, Oliveira's already tapping. Dan's in trouble. Dan's in trouble. Oh, Dan's oh, he's got a bad hand here. This oh, Dan's got his hands locked. Oh, it's a trouble. Oh, 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 my goodness. Islam Akashev wow. makes Dan Hooker in round one. Right here, look at this. Right hook, right into the double leg. Takes Dan Hooker down. He slowly starts to advance position. Now, here's the issue. You worry about your leg, your upper body, but he's attacking your legs. Then when he got to this Kimura, the moment he steps over the head, Paul, it's over. Dan has got his hands locked, but the moment that left leg comes over the top, now you're done. And look at the torque he's got on that arm. He would have broke the arm of Dan Hooker. Yeah. I think it's going to be interesting to see who has the advantage. Oh, oh, big left hand. Oh, he's in. Wow. Here's the wow. Sets it up with the probing right hand and lands that left hand on the button. T-Bow goes down. And Dan Mergliata recognized that he was stiff. He went down. His legs are up. He's not defending himself. And he's trying to pick a direction. It's kind of pick your poison at this point. Green's covering up. Makachev swinging away. Oh, he's trying to escape, but I think this is going to be it. Referee's going to stab. He's going to do it. Wow! Islam Makachev delivers. He made it look easy. I mean, here he clasps the hands together, forces the takedown, and then systematically worked his way to mount. And then from there, it was over. Got on top, ground and pound, known for the submissions, but he swung away to the end. Seems like we've seen a change in strategy for Dober, trying to get offensive here off of his back. Look at the shoulder pressure, though. Look at Dober's face. Oh, 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 oh. Islam Akashev submits wow. Drew Dober. And one more takedown. You see, like, Drew Dober's just being overwhelmed by the squeeze. Look at that Why pressure. does he jump guard? I just don't think he knows what to do. I think he's just been swarmed on for two rounds. And he, he goes through this Kimura here, loses it, and then look at this tremendous shoulder pressure. From half guard, too, by the way. Just crushing Drew's neck from half guard and taps him. Well, Johnson was certainly expected that he'd get a heavy dose of this tonight. Makashev trying to set up a submission here, DC. Yep, and you know, these guys do combat sambo their entire lives, you know, so if you present an opportunity to get a sub, it's over. He'll go get it. There it is. He's got the arm. And, and there's goes. the tap. Another big finish for Islam. Wow. Islam was dominating. Here he gets to the single leg, runs the pike right there, switches right to the double. Right as he switches to that double, Cajun Johnson has no out. Islam scoops the legs with his feet. Once he's able to flatten them out, it's over. I feel like right now he's got so much control, he's got one wrist isolated, and that right hand is almost free to just tee off in quick succession. Just keep going for it. Keep pounding him like that, and opportunities will present themselves. Oh, is he under the neck? He's going for something. I can't, I can't see. He's got oh. it. I mean, here it is, the big takedown in round four. Tiago tries to go for the triangle there. Kind of softened the blow of the the, uh, the slam, but still, nonetheless, it was the beginning of the end. He was trying to get the hook in there. The right hand started presenting opportunities, and he locks up the choke there. And he didn't even have the hooks in, but when the, it's under the chin, it's in the right position. Less versatility when it comes to attacking. If he wants to attack with an arm bar or something else now, he has to let go of that triangle. Whereas when he goes with traditional two hooks, more opportunities for attacks are open, but less control. Now see, we, we see here, he's got the body triangle, yep. and he's on top, which is much, oh, it's underneath the chin. Trying to lock Leo's it down right trouble. here. Looking to finish this fight. It's over.
It's over. Leo's out. It is all over! Locked in that rear naked choke. Now let's take a look at this again. I believe he was hurt there in that exchange, and, and you pointed that out as well. And here we see Makachev has him down, locks up that body triangle, and sinks that forearm deep under the chin. And Leo's in all sorts of trouble here and forced to tap. Beautiful job of utilizing that combat sambo. He may have resigned himself to losing a decision. Well, that's what Dean Thomas said. Yeah. Dean feels like that would be a moral victory for Leon Edwards. But that is not the cloth from which he is cut. I no. mean, that is a dejected... Oh! And look at this, he sets it up by showing him the left. Oh! And a perfect left high kick. That is amazing. I didn't even see it. John, I didn't even see it. Oh my goodness. Oh and my Cor goodness. Usman, he said no. to Herb Dean, no way, no way. Yes, sir. Oh my goodness, look how he shows him the left to hide it. Well, he's done this before. Oh my goodness. This is a great combination from Edwards. Leon Edwards in the blue, Seth. Bazinski. Oh, oh, he's down straight away. That's, That's the end it. of the fight. My one, goodness. One That's and nice, done nice. for wow. Leon Rocky Edwards. Completely put it to bed. Bang, straight right down the pipe. Look at that and one to follow it up to finish. Not Beautiful. sure if he even needed that one, Dan. What was the time on that? That's got to be pretty quick. Pretty quick. Absolute perfection. Good finish there, though. He lifted the leg with quick, secure position. And now he's got the back. Trying to get that hook in. This could be huge. He's got two and a half minutes left. If he can ride out top position for the rest of the round, could be big. He's got one. Looking to get that second hook in. Finish his fight. Oh, nice transition there. And I'm reaching back, pulling at the arms. This is tight. This is tight. He can have it. It is all over. Leon Edwards by submission. Got in on the single and he waited. He waited for Tumenov to try and pull away before he lifted. And it looked like Tumenov was going to get up, but he didn't get wrist control. Didn't separate the hands of Leon Edwards. So Edwards able to drag him back down. And here, Edwards was patient. He had Tumenov thinking about stopping that right hook from getting in. Tumenov was focused on the foot, and Edwards sneaks in the choke and gets the finish. Biggest win to date. Good pressure there, good back of the head pressure from Leon Edwards. Oh, 10 seconds. Rocky will have to step head, up Rocky? this pace if he wants to get the finish. Stop! Oh, I think the fight was called just before the buzzer. Stay, stay. I believe Leon Edwards just got a TKO finish. Brendan Allen's got to do something different. As I said, he needs head movement and he needs feints because I'm not seeing either right now. Another jab. Oh, good one, two. Oh, that that was Allen. Strickland this trying to end it. it. That's and it goes. Sean Strickland. Wow. Yeah, as you said, he was just throwing them out there. Wasn't looking for the knockout, letting the punches do the talking and putting together combinations one after the other. And look at this. When he had him hurt, went in for the kill. And goes right back to work in that jab. Garcia may be hurt here. Looks a little wobbly on those legs, and he is. Sean Strickland now searching for the finish. Garcia's hurt bad. Strickland, oh, it's it. down! Sean Strickland with a massive KO! That jab right there, right on the chin, stunned Alex Garcia. Strickland smelled it right away. And watch it how he intelligently still goes for the finish, but from his range. He's not charging in where he can get caught with a crazy counter punch. Stays at a good range where he can hit Garcia, and boom, the big right gets the finish. Smart, intelligent, tactical fight for Sean Strickland. Strickland said, I want to turn him into a punching bag. He has largely done that in the second round. Magomedov has been a punching bag. It almost feels like Sean is playing with his food a little bit. Oh, that's it, that's it. Do it! 
45 seconds. Oh, man, what are we waiting for? It's done. It's, it's over. over. Continuing oh, to hammer oh, away. Beautiful performance. Stop, stop, stop. That's wow. it. I mean, let's take a look at this. I mean, beautiful stuff from Sean Strickland right off the bat. And he has such a simple game. It's ones and twos, but it's the pressure and the volume and the relentless attack. As soon as he finds a weakness, he begins to chip at it and chip at it and chip at it. And eventually, Abus Magomedov just had one direction to go, and that was out. Kimura possibility on the left arm of Bubba. He's looking for it. He wants to pin that arm down. He wants to, he's going to step over. Okay, much better now. Good job. In, in trying to go after that hand, he gave up an opening for the, look at this. Beautiful job taking the back. Very nicely done. Bubba is in all sorts of wow. trouble. 30 right. seconds. Under the Trying jam. to finish That's it. it. That, that is all it. over. Beautiful Sean job. Sean Strickland. And then when he got him to the ground, boom. He gets him in, gets his back, hits him with a shot, and look, in the transition, sunk it right underneath the neck. Beautiful job. Just like oh, that. Big right direct. That was a big shot to the chin. Not into left. I'm not sure his heads are completely clear. He's taking some of these shots here. Oh, Another stopped. one as Strickland goes down. And that's it! So that consistent pressure of Sean Strickland paid off. Eventually he was able to reach Nordin Tilev with a really clean overhand right. Caught him on the temple. And then, you know, in the successive shots that came, Nordin Tilev just wasn't able to create the space to recover. You know, it was this, this trickle effect of Sean Strickland that kept peppering him with long shots, long range shots, keeping him on the back foot. And then when he was finally in the top position, he picked these shots very well. Pereira's had his most success for the body tonight. Oh! oh. So Izzy's against the cage, he pops him with the jab, the oh, right, it was the hand, right hand. Yeah, it was the right hand. It stung him a little bit, oh, and then the, the uppercut. uppercut. The uppercut stung him. Oh, That's it the was left that hook. one, the left that hook one. again. And then another one. And oh, then that my right goodness. hand. He's in big trouble there. And then again. No. I mean, he was hurt bad. You could have stopped this a long time ago. Mark Goddard gave him a ton of time. He gave him all the time, but look, he's not even looking. Oh, my goodness. Good, because he's... Oh! Look at the beauty in this hook. I mean, it's perfect. That's perfect. He just leans in, and he gets you thinking that you're all right Look standing in front of him, oh, and no. then just torques that right on the chin. Guys, bring that back one more time. Watch Pajeda when he circles. Watch how Pajeda just sets his level. Watch that level change, guys, when his feet set. Look at him. Level change, spring it to the left hook. Boom. That's nasty. On his left cheek. And John, honestly, that's what I was speaking to with all the clinch and the grab. Oh! It's a different kind of power, man. Oh, oh I mean, my God. he just starches people and so calm about it. He tried to walk off, but Big Dan made Mihalidis take some extra punishment oh, that maybe goodness. he didn't need to take. When Alex Pereira connects, most people go night-night. And he's been used to doing this with big gloves on. He was teaching jiu-jitsu privates back then when he was just a kid. You know, so he's got very fast hands. Oh! Try to get into the clinch. Aspinall lands a beautiful knee. Right hand there hurts him bad. I mean, he was barely getting his foot back to the ground and he hit Spivak with that right hand. Look, elbow. oh, that's an elbow. Yeah. Oh, he landed a beautiful elbow in tight there. Now that's twice we've seen him do that. Now if he wanted to level change, drive through with the double leg, it's right there. Oh, nice elbow. Oh. All right, here we go. Tom was just on fire. There's a big elbow. Steps in. Almost loses balance in a one-two. As soon as that connects, Tybora sits down. Tom follows it up. And it's only a matter of time. Referee Mark Goddard's going to step in here. Tom was on fire from the get-go. He was so fast, so loose, precise.
he was hurting Ty Bora with every single shot. Uh, I, I think the problem for, for a, uh, Tom Aspen a lot of the time was not only finding trade. Oh! oh what a finish! That's it! Wow! Knock out for Tom Aspen wow. in his debut! The prospect. Beautiful. Knee to the midsection. Bang, bang. One, two follows right on the chin. Uh, he just did not stand a chance. Doesn't as get soon as that knee that, landed, then. uh uh. Bang, right into the midsection on one, two. Very nice, and he measured the right hand early as well. 50% power. But some people you never know that can that can affect their confidence, their psychology, their approach to the game. Is that, whoa, hold on a minute. I'm used to people falling over when I hit them. What is happening? And there it is, look at that, it's over. It's it goes over. right under the chin, a tap quickly for Arlovsky. Tom Aspinall. I mean, they really tested the octagon wall there, because look at that. They hit that with some, what's that, 520 pounds or so hitting it. And then, yeah, Andre turns his back, trying to get back to his feet, made a mistake. Tom Aspinall. Pocket to be able to get the fight to the ground and look for oh. control. How impressive does he look here Fender's as well? Oh, he's got a Brazilian jiu-jitsu belt. There he is. From Tom Double Aspinall. quick again. He goes 2-0 and oh with the UFC. Let's have, a take, let's have a look at this. Aspinall comes flying in, checks the leg with his rear, rear foot. He avoids that upward elbow, but lands a couple of really short right hands as he moves into clinch. Bado clinches, but then that offers the level change for Tom Aspinall, who gets his hands together, slams the floor. Mike Grundy's punch in the air at this moment, straight to mount, and then he pours down those elbows. The pressure was too much for Bado tonight, and Tom Aspinall adds another short victory to his record. As I said, he's so calm and composed. And now this is trouble. Straight arm lock attempt here from Aspinall. Look at the timing. Slip, boom, double, right through, drives through, immediately pushes the knee down, gets to half guard, shoulder pressure, into a submission attempt. You can't write it any better than that. That is just pure mixed martial arts at its best right there from a huge man weighing 253 pounds. And he did that when he used his wrestling. Oh! Again they battle in another big knee. 45 seconds John's on the clock in a second. He's got a choke. Trying to choke him out and He's finish the fight him. here. Yoda's in trouble. Trying to finish this fight. Oh, he oh, it is all over. It is all over. Wow. Used his full set of skills. And look at that. He caught him with that left hand. Put him down. Knee to the body, and here's the standing guillotine. Now look how he switches it and pushes it up. Cody McKenzie style here. Look at that standing guillotine. Look at the, the twist on his neck. And John's holding him up here. And Leoto's right arm goes limp, and his left arm is stuck up there. And big John McCarthy thankfully recognizes it. He sees that right arm go limp. Jones with a left hand. That one hurt him. That one opened him. Brutal elbow. Big elbows. Oh, Trying Shogun's to finish hurt. his fight. Shogun's badly hurt, Mike. John Jones looking to finish Shogun. Vicious knee to the body and an uppercut. Jones to the body. Shogun is just trying to hang on. But Jones is all over him. Brutal knee to the body. Allows him to stand up and then jumps all over him. Vicious left hook and then a knee. He's and making he, him carry his weight. Yes, that's important. Jones is just making him carry him. And he's putting pressure. Oh So here, we're gonna see the takedown. He ducks the punch, gets behind Cyril Gaon, drags him to the ground, and there was a scramble, wound up on yep. top here. But let's see the choke. He's under the they chin. Oh, rock. he's under the yeah, chin. Yeah, he got his he hands is on. under the chin. Oh, that's a lot of oh, that's there. Tight. Oh, that's Yeah, tight. that's actually that's much tight. tighter than look. Yeah. Because we, we couldn't see him from the other side. We he's gonna take Alex's back. 
This is a bad position for Alex. He's got to scramble out of here. Oh, big oh. shots. Big shots Custom's by Sean Jones. Custom's in a lot of trouble here. Custom's in trouble. Sean Jones has That's regained it. the throne. Land some huge elbows. This forces Alex to try to belly out. John then goes to the half Nelson, as you see here, to try to keep Alex from bellying out. Then he's able to throw that left hook in and keep Alex bellied out to where he can just start unloading big punches right there. And this is the end that you're watching right here. Just too many big punches, too much top pressure from Jones. Looking to get an Americana, the way he's grabbing that arm, he's going to put it behind, John, about behind Chael Sonnen's head. And now he's making Chael defenseless by pulling that left arm across his face. There's a nice elbow again. Chael made it attempt at an arm bar. Oh, uh, Chael's just swarming on his Jones. Big knee. Looking to finish this fight early. Oh, big All shot. over him right here in the first round. And it is all over! John Jones! And here John pounds on him here. Knee to the body. Same, same technique that finished him with Anderson Silva. And there's a nasty elbow over the top. And another one. And a punch. You know... He's good, do, doing a good job defensively, though. Oh, yeah, elbow. Ate a shot there. Oh, yeah, that hurt. Oh, he's hurt. John Jones oh, looking to finish. Ferris hurt. John Jones. That's it. It is all over. Let's take a look at it here. Oh, man. Let's see it again. Boom. Oh, man. The point of the elbow right in the eye socket. He might have a fractured orbital here, Mike. That is just. I was thinking the same thing. Picture perfect. I mean. He's got one hook. Rampage has not been stopped in the octagon. That's what Jones wants, to be the first man in the UFC to stop Quentin Rampage Jackson. He's got him. Looking to do it right here. Oh, yeah, Looking to finish choke. this fight. Quentin's trying to pry it off. It's all That's over! It. John Jones has defended his UFC light heavyweight championship. And here you see John Jones gets that first hook in with the left leg. Gets his right arm underneath and flattens Quentin out. Sneaks his left arm under the chin. Thrusts his hips forward. Flattens Quentin out. Gets his back. Full back mount. Goes palm to palm. John Jones, 4-1 and one in the UFC, 10-1 and one overall. Jones pressing down on that arm. He's going to use it to stand. He's got a mounted crucifix now. Now this is a terrible spot. Get out of this bad terrible spot. spot. Herb Dean right on top of the action. And it, it is all it. over. Getting through a guy like Vladimir Matyushenko like this, this is incredible. Look at this. Gets that mounted crucifix. And look at this. Bam, 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 bam. The speed and the accuracy. You know, Herb Dean is not a guy to stop fights quick. O'Brien well, might be resting here, but this is the guillotine attempt here by John Jones. It's tough to tell. I mean, a very strong grappler. If he's got a hold of Jake O'Brien's neck here, it looks like he's got it very deep, Mike. I can't see it from this angle. Looking to finish it. He put him out. Over. He put him out. Wow. John Jones. He fakes a, a, a takedown and hits him with this. Bang. Oh. Right in the top of the head. And that rocked Jake O'Brien. Then Jones jumps all over him. And now we can tell it here. We can see it better here from the overhead shot. He sinks a guillotine in, he's got a guillotine, and then he, he tucks it in deeper. It's like a no-arm Darce choke. He goes under and then grabs a hold of it with his bicep, and that's just real deep there. See it there? He's got, it's tough to tell because he's covering the, the head. You, you can't really see it, but O'Brien taps, and then he goes out. Just hesitated so much in this fight. This is what he needs. He needs a wild exchange. He needs to be Vitor. Yeah. Again, he pulls him into his guard. This is so crazy, and he winds up on the bottom in side control here. Oh, he's going to get smushed. This is it. Oh, man, big, big, big elbows by John Not Jones. Not good for Belfort. He's, got, he's trying to get him in a mounted crucifix. He just needs to secure the right arm. Now he's going for a Kimura. That's it is it. all over! That's it. And here you see he pins down that arm, wraps it up, and look how he immediately brings it down to the hip. Excellent technique. Under a minute now. Yeah, he's working to try that. He's trying to slide his right arm all the way through, and he's going to try to connect it to his bicep. And that's one of the things about having such a long reach. It enables, oh, he's going for a guillotine. It enables him to uh, attack with chokes. Oh, he got it. It's all over. John Jones. Yeah, he went right for a straight guillotine here. 
Tightened it right up, twisted it, and Bader was stuck.